All right, everyone. Country here this morning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make some of the little camp benches and all that I make out of repurposed wood. And, you know, some of y'all probably seen some of my pictures on Facebook and all, but now I get to show you how I make them. And this is what I'm talking about. It's that. So that's what we're going to be making. So y'all stick around. See what all I'm going to show you today. All right. Well, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, a piece of repurposed lumber off my old trailer. I just got to figure out the length I needed. So I'm going to measure that out. Couldn't find my tape, as usual, but I could find that, so that's something to measure with. You don't have to have a tape. You could use a stick, you can use whatever you want. So that's what I'm using to measure with. I'm going to measure out my length, and then I'll show you how I cut them and notch them and all. All right, I got that marked at five foot, which that might be too long. I don't know. I'm going to try it. I'll test it in a minute and see. And I'm cutting with electric chainsaw, and that's what I do all this with. I do a lot of my craft stuff like this with electric chainsaw because when you let off of the trigger, it stops. And it's not like a gas saw where it keeps running a little bit. And plus, it's a little more quieter and all. It just kind of does a little better job because I can go real slow or I can go fast. And so that's an ideal, you know, for you. Use whatever you want to to saw these with, but that's just what I use. Okay, I'm going to notch these, but first I'll tell you, I did have to cut a little bit off my seat board to see it had a rotten spot in it there, so I did make it a little shorter after all. And uh, anyway, I'm going to measure this out, and I know that my picnic table over there, it is one foot five inches off the ground, so... I marked that with my pencil right there. And I want the fat end of this old light pole to be on the ground. So I'm marking this at one foot five. And then I'm just gonna use this then as a spacer block to draw me a a line across the bottom and across the top so I cut my notch. So, let me do that real quick. Okay, I got it marked there. I don't know if you can see that pencil mark or not, but I'm just going to take the electric chainsaw. I'm going to cut down in here then, and then I'll have a little piece of course between it, between where I saw here and there. Let's take the chainsaw and then just chisel it all out. And then, then I'll show you I'm going to measure because I wanted a certain depth. So, I'll show you that. Let me go ahead and see if I can cut this now. Okay, I got that cut, but what I want is I want to go about half of the post, so I'm just going to measure off the diameter of the post here, and then uh, keep cutting at it till I get that to go about half the post. I'm going to try my little block here. My little block, yeah. It's not really, really, really tight. It's not real loose either, so that's perfect. That's the way I want it. All right, that's about half of the post. So, I'm going to measure off the other one, cut it, put the board in. And I'll show you that when I'm done. It only takes a second to do the other one. As you can see, I got both of them cut. Board's cut. Tried the board, they fit. And I just get my little angle grinder here, and I'm using them sanding wheels. It's just 36 grit. And... I just like it because that coarse grip because I can I can like put some pressure on it and, and hog off the wood real fast or give it light pressure and I can make it smooth. So I'm just gonna smooth off all these edges. That way nobody will get no splinter whenever they sit down. And I'll put the board and all in and I'm just about done. I'll show you that in just a minute. Alright, there we go. 
there's a bench made out of repurposed wood. You don't have to spend any money. It's easy to do. I even come in and I smoothed off the top of these on the grain where there's no splinters. And I may actually paint these too. And uh, by the way, when I was sanding on that on the, on the grain, it smelled like fish. And I had to remember these were some old bridge pilots that was cut off. It smelled like fish. Making me hungry when I'm working on them. I've probably seen these benches before in some of my pictures on my Facebook page, so I thought I'd do a little video and show you how I make them since I'm out like cleaning up and picking up in the yard and and that was the reason why I came up with this ideal here when I worked it out in my head and went and done it was because uh, I'm kind of always doing all this by myself and, uh, every time I mow or or whatever I gotta do, when I gotta move these benches around, I, I couldn't, if they're made all put together, nailed or screwed or whatever, then it's hard for me to move by myself. So, like this, I can take it apart and move it in three separate places and three separate pieces, and then move it to other places and all, and it just makes it easier for me. So, that's about all I got this time. So, I'll see y'all next time. Y'all make sure to like, share, and subscribe.